Recent headlines about Yellowstone National Park have been dominated by troubling news of increased earthquake activity, leaving residents on edge. The surge in geological disturbances has sparked fears of an impending supervolcano eruption. Today, we embark on a quest to unravel the enigma of these recurrent earthquakes in the area. Are they mere coincidences? Or do they foretell the wrath of the Yellowstone supervolcano? Join us as we delve into this investigation, seeking answers that may hold implications not only for the park, but also for the entire United States and beyond. Before we begin, click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Spanning a magnificent 2.2 million acres, Yellowstone National Park boasts the unique status among the world's natural wonders. This sanctuary is a habitat for diverse wildlife, including bison, wolves, grizzly bears, moose, pronghorn, bighorn sheep, coyotes, and elks, attracting wildlife photographers and nature enthusiasts alike. Yet, it is the captivating geothermal features that truly define Yellowstone's fascination. With over 10,000 thermal wonders, such as bubbling hot springs, spouting geysers, and vibrant mud pots, the park mesmerizes its visitors. Among these, the iconic Old Faithful Geyser stands tall, epitomizing the immense energy within the Earth's core. However, Yellowstone is more than just a park. It conceals one of the world's largest volcanic systems, the Yellowstone Caldera. Beneath this formidable structure lies an enormous underground magma reservoir, fueling the ground's thermal wonders. Yellowstone National Park is also located in a region where the Earth's crust is thinnest and the bubbling magma boils close to the surface than any other part of the world. This is why there are multiple thermal features being created within the area. The recent multitude of earthquakes in the Yellowstone region has led many to speculate on a potential link to the supervolcano. Some believe these earthquakes are ominous signs heralding the volcano's awakening. However, these claims lack substantial evidence. Despite Yellowstone's historical significance as the world's first national park established in 1872, it grapples with some of the highest seismic hazard values in the Intermountain West. On average, the region experiences between 1,500 to 2,000 earthquakes annually. According to a comprehensive study by the University of Utah Seismograph Stations, the region witnessed a staggering 17,243 earthquakes within a 3,652-day period, averaging 4.7 earthquakes per day over the last decade. It turns out that these numerous earthquakes that the region has been experiencing aren't typical earthquakes, but earthquake swarms. Now you might be wondering, what is the difference between earthquakes and earthquake swarms? Well, they're actually two distinct geological terms. While a single earthquake results from energy release in the Earth's crust, often caused by tectonic plate movements or volcanic activity, Earthquake swarms comprise multiple earthquakes occurring closely together in a specific area over a brief period. These swarms, of smaller magnitude and lasting from hours to weeks, may indicate volcanic activity. However, unlike single earthquakes that unleash significant main shocks capable of causing severe damage, earthquake swarms lack such immediate peril. Nevertheless, they may lead to minor disruptions like landslides and ground shaking. In the last 10 years, Yellowstone Park has become a center of scientific attention due to the repeated occurrences of these natural phenomena. Given the frequent earthquake swarms in the area, it's understandable that people worry about the dormant volcano. Yet, we must examine whether there is indeed a genuine connection between these geological events. Does the earthquakes forebode disaster for Yellowstone National Park? To find the answers, let us embark on a deeper exploration of this subject. Now, the pressing question arises, is an eruption imminent from the Yellowstone caldera? Or is it merely an exaggerated concern? To address this, it is crucial to understand the concept of calderas. These extensive volcanic depressions or craters emerge from massive eruptions, 
releasing colossal quantities of magma and volcanic materials. This outpouring causes the collapse of the volcano summit or the land above its magma chamber, giving rise to a substantial bowl-shaped depression known as a caldera. These geological behemoths come in varying sizes, far surpassing typical volcanic craters formed by smaller eruptions. Calderas are often associated with highly explosive and catastrophic volcanic events like super eruptions that can have far-reaching global impacts, altering climates and environments. The geological saga of the Yellowstone caldera spans millions of years and tells a tale of unparalleled proportions. Over the past two million years, it has witnessed a series of explosive eruptions known as super eruptions, surpassing the force of regular volcanic events. These super eruptions expel massive volumes of magma and volcanic material, blanketing vast areas with ash and debris. The most recent super eruption in Yellowstone Caldera occurred approximately 640,000 years ago, molding Yellowstone's present landscape. This mind-boggling eruption released several thousand cubic kilometers of volcanic material, equivalent to covering the Grand Canyon a hundred times over. The colossal eruption also instigated substantial changes in global weather patterns and significant climate alterations. Envision the consequences of another Yellowstone eruption. The consequences for Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana will be devastating, leading to the loss of human lives and livestock. The ensuing agricultural devastation would render the lands uninhabitable. However, the reality is that we need not fear this nightmare, at least not in our lifetime. Geological evidence from geologists reveals that the supervolcano has experienced only three major super eruptions in the past. The first occurred exactly 2.1 million years ago, followed by a second eruption 1.3 million years ago. The most recent catastrophic eruption unfolded 640,000 years ago. Considering the time frames between each super eruption, the next one is unlikely to occur for another 150,000 to 200,000 years from now. However, relying solely on probability is insufficient. Thanks to scientific research into the eruption history, we gain a better understanding of the geological processes underlying the Yellowstone caldera. Equipped with a network of seismometers, GPS receivers, and other advanced geophysical instruments, scientists vigilantly monitor volcanic gases and ground deformations within and around the caldera. After rigorous analysis, they have concluded that the Yellowstone caldera currently remains inactive or dormant with no imminent threat of a super eruption in the foreseeable future. The so-called earthquake swarms are caused by the movement of fluids and magma beneath the Earth's surface. They're a normal aspect of the caldera's geothermal activity. However, one thing is definitely certain. The series of earthquakes call for concern and should not be neglected in any way. But how do we know what we're up against? It is fair that we tend to get paranoid after all the talk about the Yellowstone supervolcano erupting soon. But we need not fear as geoscientists and park officials of Yellowstone National Park who play a key role in studying and analyzing the ever-changing geological processes in the park have confirmed that there is no cause for alarm. One of the primary responsibilities of geophysicists includes overseeing and analyzing seismic activity through strategically placed seismometers that detect and record ground vibrations caused by earthquakes. This data provides critical insights into the movement of magma and fluids beneath the Earth's surface. Additionally, geoscientists meticulously monitor ground deformation, meticulously measuring subtle changes in the Earth's surface. It turns out that Yellowstone has experienced uplift and subsidence over time. While these changes can pose as indicators of volcanic activity, we are rest assured by the geoscientists that there's no cause for panic yet. Another critical aspect of their work involves monitoring volcanic gases emitted by geothermal features like geysers, hot springs, and fumaroles, which provide valuable insights into the volcanic system's behavior. 
Changes in gas emissions can serve as early warning signs of potential volcanic activity and help assess the type and magnitude of future eruptions. So if the Yellowstone caldera were to become active, geophysicists would be the first to alert us. Working hand-in-hand -hand with geoscientists, park officials actively implement safety protocols and communication strategies during periods of increased volcanic or geothermal activity. Park officials play a vital role in effectively conveying information to the public and addressing concerns related to any geological threat. In the event of an impending threat, they can initiate evacuations and implement safety measures to protect both visitors and residents in nearby communities. Collaborating with local authorities and emergency response teams, park officials develop comprehensive contingency plans, outlining evacuation procedures and emergency measures to safeguard lives and property. In this way, geoscientists and park officials continuously monitor and research Yellowstone's geothermal activity, ensuring preparedness for any possibility. In conclusion, the recent reports of hundreds of earthquakes in Yellowstone National Park serve as a stark reminder of the dynamic geological forces at play in this iconic natural landscape. While it is normal to feel concerned about seismic activity, it is essential to place trust in the expertise of geoscientists and park officials who diligently monitor and study Yellowstone's geothermal activity. Feel free to share your thoughts on the potential eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano in the comments section below. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay vigilant, for the fury of the supervolcano may yet remain a mystery.